How you doing? <sighs> I seem a little perturbed because I just spent 10 minutes doing a video and it was a picture. Uh, so I literally was talking to my phone with that recording and I feel like an asshole. But anyway, I am just north of Depot Bay. I spent the day in downtown Depot Bay um, trying to sell my art, even painted something. I'm still waiting for it to dry to We'll see how it turns out. And now I'm at Boiler Bay, right just north of that, of Depot. And haven't seen any whales yet, but I haven't really been looking. Just ended my day of sales. I gotta give myself some me time too. Just hanging out and standing there, it's kind of taxing. Plus, you know, anyway. So I'm gonna chill for the rest of the night and then get up in the morning and sell, sell, sell. But I want to talk about you. I want to talk about your health real quick. When you're traveling, I've been traveling for nine months now, and I've been very careful about my health. I mean, if food it wasn't right, I'd throw it out, and I can't afford that, but you can't afford to get sick either, especially on the road, especially if you're out of cell service. Um, great example of not hurting yourself when you're hiking and walking around in the wilds and is I was just north of Newport, and um, some assholes just pulled in next to, I mean, here's another thing is when you're boondocking, there's there's unwritten rules. You don't park right next to a fucking guy when you have all this space. It's just you give people space and you don't knock on their doors. You don't go, hey, hey, you, hey, in there. You know, you don't do any of that shit. That's, unless somebody's out and you can talk to them or you know they're moving around there, you can say, uh, oh, but people are sleeping. People don't want to be bothered, bothered, excuse me. So yeah, it's just, there's unwritten rules, man. A lot of people have no cooth, no concept of respecting space and like I was up there like I said out of view and these assholes just pulled in and they parked I mean right next to me where I can hear him just babbling and he came up and hey hey in there you know like yeah you don't do that I was like yeah what's up and he goes oh you um you gonna be here all night yeah well, yeah okay well I'm like well uh, yeah okay whatever you know enjoy I was being cool about it but at the same time Five minutes later, this dude sits down and just starts babbling, just diarrhea of the mouth. It was disgusting and toxic, and I had to get the hell out of there. I literally just bailed. So I had to go find another place to park. It was Moloch Beach, whatever, but it was closer to the beach, so I decided to walk down to the beach. And that is when it went really wrong. It was a sandy, kind of hilly little walkway. It wasn't really a walkway. It was a bad idea. So I'm halfway down and I bail and I'm hitting it sideways and I did my Buster Keaton as best as I could where I kind of tucked and rolled and so I didn't just hit slamming. Oh my God. Because I kind of felt it because I felt it coming. So I did a slide and a roll and, and I kind of spun around and jumped back on my feet and I was fine. It was a little embarrassing because people were watching. But yeah, so I got lucky. But you know, if you're hiking around, you got to be careful. I haven't really left my vehicle too much when I was traveling just because it's all my things and I don't want somebody breaking in and stuff so, but if you're in if you're in campgrounds and things like that I feel more comfortable when you're boondocking I won't leave I don't leave my vehicle that far I just don't it's just because you're out and there's no policing there there's, every once in a while you have a place where they have rangers come through a BLM which is awesome but um, a lot of places they don't have BLM they don't have rangers coming through so you gotta be careful most people are cool I mean not not every some people just have no concept of space man they're just this dude was a tweaker you could tell he was just burnt because he had no concept of space you know, you, you, you just can't, you know what I mean? Because they're used to trying to get money from people, so they're used to getting in their faces. When they're, it's just, and that's, why, that's where it turns people off. There's a lot of homeless that are just pieces of shit. I hate to say it. They're just not very good people. They're bad people. I've, I've witnessed I've witnessed really wonderful people that are homeless and having a hard time. And then said there's just complete scumbags. They're just, they don't care no more. They don't care about what other people think. Like at Newport, they're just like on the beach where all the tourists are. And they're just like hanging out in the bathroom area. They don't have bladder issues. Why the fuck are you hanging out by the bathroom? Scaring all the little kids and stuff. It just creeps people out, especially when you stink like absolute shit. And I'm, I'm sorry, I love and light, babe, and I'm very... <laughs> I'm very empathetic, but you know, if I smelled like that, I sure the hell wouldn't hang out with the bathroom with little kids walking by and stuff. So that pisses me off. But and it gives and it gives, and it turns people off to helping the homeless, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get people to be sympathetic to the homeless, not be. And some people are. They're like, they're turned off. I hear people talking about it all the time because people don't act right. Especially these young fuckers. They go, they pull in. This one guy pulled in there and 
you just skateboarding around and tagging shit. And this guy with his kids, he was like, that. he's a piece of shit. The guy wanted to kick his ass. Like I said, some people are just bad apples, but most people are cool. And you got to just be able to, you know, like I said, if you're boondocking and somebody comes in there and just starts, he's toxic. You can, you know, out up in music, just blah, blah, blah. Just, you can leave. It's free land. Go find another piece of land. It ain't, you ain't, ta you ain't, you know, anchored to any piece of property. So if some, I've done it. I've had to bail like I did that time. Just, you know, a couple nights ago, I bailed. I couldn't can, handle that shit. Just listen to this guy, just diarrhea of the mouth, man. That's why I'm by myself, so I don't have to hear people's nonsense. <clears throat> but most people are cool. Most people respect you. I mean, you, you can watch wherever you go. You'll see at least a car and a half between cars. They try to. Most people are very cool about it. You know, most people are hit to the, to the scene, too. So health-wise, try to eat right. Try not to eat too many bad meats, especially, you know, suffer-free diet is always important. But you have to have your protein and beans and all that stuff. But anyways, just try to watch your dairies because that stuff can go bad, too. I'm just saying, when you're on the road, you gotta be careful. You just can't get sick. You just, it's important not to. Like, just not food wise and stuff. I'm not just talking about like all that bullshit Kobe crap. I'm talking about like physically getting sick because you're not eating right. And drink lots of water. I can't stress that enough either. You just gotta, you gotta hydrate. And I don't do alcohol ever. Alcohol is shit. It's poison. It fucks your head up. It fucks your mind up. And it fucks your soul up. Sorry, it does. And if you have to smoke some weed every once in a while, just even that in moderation, right? I use it for medication, but that's it. But alcohol, nope, never. The effects of alcohol are basically your body slowly dying. I'm cool with living. So, try not to drink. Feel free to get on the wagon. You're going to feel a hell of a lot better. Stop smoking, too, because most people that drink smoke. Sorry. So, and that's another disgusting fucking habit. But anyway, I love you. I know you can do it if you're smoking. Don't. I'm. It's not. I'm not judging. I love you. If you smoke, I've smoked before. I used to drink, and I used to drink like you know, an Irishman on a fast, right? But I, you know, off a fast anyway. And I used to smoke cigarettes like back a day. But you know, you get over that shit. You realize it's bad for you. And you, I love myself, and I kind of want to be around for a while. So, I love you, and I want you to be around for a while. So, do what you can to get healthy, and do what you gotta do, and. Love the world and love yourself and yeah, I love you. God loves you and the universe loves you. We're gonna rock this, okay? So have a great day. I'm gonna give you a slice of this piece of heaven, Boiler Bay, baby. Yep, God is good. Have a wonderful day. Love you guys.